This is meteorologist Jeff Hayden. You can see the very early morning disturbance rolling on in and through. Now it is dropping some snow for the higher Cascade Passes, but it will push on and as it does so we'll see the sky become partly cloudy and get a little bit of a dry spell finally. Showers ending for the coast very early morning, partial clearing, and then we'll see some clouds roll back in tonight. Daytime highs around 60 with overnight lows dropping to the upper 40s. Western interior valleys, showers ending early, partly cloudy, and then increasing clouds mainly north for that increase in cloudiness tonight. Fog, a better possibility to the south. Daytime highs ranging in the low 60s, overnight lows cooler in California, low to mid 30s, but low 40s once you cross into Oregon. And east of the Cascades, we've got showers ending, partly cloudy, and a partly cloudy sky tonight, so we're going to cool things down. We'll see daytime highs ranging in the low 50s mainly, but overnight lows, 20s, to near the 30-degree mark. The extended outlook shaping up like this, uh, it's a bit of a dry spell for inland areas anyway, until about Sunday night or Monday. For the basin, we're going to see the same thing, afternoon highs warming up, and overnight lows also following suit in this case. For Northern California, it's definitely a dry spell for a while. We'll see the better chance of showers coming in toward the early part of next week. But for the coast, a warm front on Wednesday, bringing a slight chance of showers early on Thursday and Friday. A different disturbance.